What if humans could travel to every planet and moon in the solar system and terraform it? Destiny style. We can see what this would be like in the space simulator Universe Sandbox, where Steam user Baselin has created a simulation of the solar system that takes place in the year 2217. In this simulation, all the rocky planets and many of the large moons have been terraformed and given their own personality, not just made to be Earth 2.0. Alright, so here's the simulation. Um, we can just start with Mercury, because that's the first planet. And we can also see that the sun has been renamed to Sol, which just means sun. But if we zoom in here on Mercury, uh, we, we can see that it looks, it looks really cool. It's got this pinkish hue around it due to the atmosphere that was added. And it's got these clouds. Clouds? in the atmosphere also and then these little pockets of blue are water on the surface and if we look on the back we can see the city lights that have been added and you can see they go around these craters which are probably filled with water so it's really really cool to see that uh, if we open the panel over here we can see sort of the stats on the planet we can see that the average temperature is 54.6, which is pretty warm, but an evolved human or a human with technology could definitely live in that. If you go to Fahrenheit, it's about a 130 is the average temperature, which is survivable with nothing, but you would die of heat exhaustion pretty quick. You can see down next to the poles, it gets a little colder. You could survive down here. So humanity could survive down on the South Pole pretty easily with no equipment. Also, what we can do is check in the, if you go to composition and then you scroll down, you can see that the Earth similarity is at 74.3% and the life likelihood is at 17.8. And that's just the chance of life developing naturally by itself. So for it to be that high is pretty good and unevolved human could definitely survive in this environment. All right, so there's Mercury. It looks really cool. All right, next we'll go to Venus. See what Venus looks like. Wow, that looks really cool. Wow, that looks really cool. You can see the water down here and this is the landmass. Um, I think this is ice and then above it, this is the atmosphere, just like all of this hue. It's got it's got like a brown, but the clouds are like more of a light blue color. Let's check the city lights out. Oh, wow. It's really cool to see these. Just imagine all the civilizations that would build themselves up here. Really, really cool to see. Let's check out the stats on it. All right, we have an average temperature of 24.9, which is actually really, really good. Um, seeing Fahrenheit that's 76.7 .7. so yeah that's a very very good temperature it's a little warmer than earth but definitely survivable we could take a look in here um, oh these are like the cold spots this is probably where those ice chunks are like here um, and the poles are obviously gonna be colder north and south pole but yes definitely very survivable probably even for life beyond human life Let's check the percentages. Earth similarity is at 95.6. That's really good. And the life likelihood is at 59.2. That's very, very impressive. Wow. All right, let's move on. Earth looks pretty similar. Looks like we got a big storm here. Um, the atmosphere has more of a purplish hue. Added some red in there. Um, the stats are pretty much the same, life likelihood 96.2, Earth similarity, so it's almost identical to Earth now. Um, let's take a look at the map, obviously, yeah, like Greenland's gonna be colder, different stuff like that. But yeah, Earth, there's not much to see, it's pretty much identical. Alright, um, and actually we can look at the moon, which has been renamed to Luna after it's been terraformed. And this is one of my favorite spots. Luna, as you can see, looks really, really cool. This is what it would be like if we terraformed our moon. Water's been added and 
Uh, if you didn't know, the side closest to Earth actually would fill up with water first because of the way it's tidally locked. So it's cool to see that on here. And this is supposed to represent vegetation, I'm guessing, this green. Oh, this is cool. It's got these clouds, too. Clouds? And we got city lights on here. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the stats. Temperature, 15 Celsius. That's a little colder, but that's really, really good. That's actually the same as Earth. So that's really impressive to see, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. So yeah, very, very survivable temperature wise. Let's take a look at the percentages. It's got a 68.4 earth similarity and a 24.1% life likelihood, which is pretty good considering it's a moon, which had to get a ap whole atmosphere built around it. It's very impressive to see. The oceans look really, really cool on this. And moving on from there is where things can get pretty interesting. Mars is also really, really cool to see. You can see that its orbit line is more of a purple color. If we zoom in, we can see. Realistically, this is what the atmosphere would look like because Mars's atmosphere right now is red. And so to mix it with this blue would make a purplish color, which is cool. And these oceans are, wow, really cool. We'll look on the back. There's not as many city lights, but it's still got some. Yeah. Let's take a look at the statistics. Average temperature of negative two. So it's a lot colder, but in some of these hot spots you can get little warmer um, but that's not exceptionally cold humans could definitely survive at this temperature especially with just like warm clothes you could go outside let's look at this all right it's got an 80.6 percent earth similarity which is really really good there's a 64.2 percent chance of life developing naturally which is insane. So yeah, humans could definitely survive on this planet. And interestingly, the Martian moons have also been terraformed, I believe. Doesn't look very terraformed. Oh, but it's got these city lights, which have a, like a blue color. What's the life likelihood? 10.4. It's got a 0 0.0007 life likelihood. So it's probably not very habitable, but you can see the thin atmosphere around the outside here. And what about Deimos? Zoom in. Has this got an atmosphere? Um, I don't see one. Is this one not terraformed? No. I guess humans have not terraformed Deimos yet. The next planet is Jupiter, which obviously Jupiter is a gas giant, so it can't be terraformed. Oh, wow. But it does have a lot of moons. So you can see that the, some of the moons are colored and those are the ones that are going to be terraformed. So let's start at Ganymede. You can zoom in at Ganymede. Wow. It looks very similar to like Tatooine. Yeah, it's got a lot of city lights on this one. Yeah, it's also got that light blue, almost greenish city light color. If we take a look in here, we can see it's got a 12.3% chance of life, which is pretty good. And what about the, the average temperature is pretty cold, but humans could survive with the right equipment, obviously. All right, uh, let's go to Io. Let's take a look here. Ooh, these city lights are looking cool. There's a lot. Io. You see the thin atmosphere? It's kind of hard to see, but you can tell. If you check, it's got a 19.1% chance of life. Wow. All right, next we got Europa. 
Yeah, Europa's right here. Ooh, this one's gonna be cool. Wow. It's so interesting to see the different way the ice and water can form around it. If we take a look in here, 3.6, that's pretty low, but that's still life, which is better than the zero that it's at right now. Average temperature is negative 66, so yeah, it is pretty cold. But yeah, so there's Europa. We got Callisto. Let's take a look here. Callisto's looking, wow, that's really cool. It's cool to see these like terrain lines. Take a look at the city lights. They got more of a white light. And the atmosphere is looking good. Let's take a look at the life likelihood. 28.3, that's pretty good. What was the temperature? Average temperature 2.4, so that's above freezing. So yeah, that could definitely support life. All right. Um, so there's Jupiter and its major moons, all terraformed. All right, next we got Saturn. So if we zoom in on Saturn, it's got all of these little moons, which haven't been terraformed. This one looks like it could be. Oh yeah, this one is. Whoa, this light pattern is way cool. That's really cool. That's so many. I haven't even seen that much before. What's the life likelihood on this thing? Average temperature 189. Uh, life likelihood zero. But it's got 11.5 Earth similarity. Um, this one, Rhea, has got. Oh, you can see the city lights in the day. Let's zoom in on this. Oh, that's cool. And what's the life likelihood? Oh, also zero. I guess these aren't as terraformed as the others. What about Titan? This is one of the more famous moons. Yeah, it looks pretty much like Titan. And then the back you got these city lights. They're more dim, I wonder why. If we look, it's got 11.8% chance of life. It's doing pretty good. What about the average temperature? Oh, it's pretty cold, but... What about Hyperion? Oh yeah, this one's small too. Um, chance of life on this one? None. I wonder if there's just city lights on all of these moons, but that doesn't really reflect how habitable that is. Yeah, cause see these are all, these all have city lights on them. Even these smaller ones, which is funny to see these city lights on like an asteroid. How big is this? Yeah, I feel like the city lights would be even bigger than that. We looked at Hyperion, what about all of these up here? Oh yeah, we'll take a look. Oh, this one looks cool, let's zoom in on it. Got the white lights. But the, yeah, I feel like it's too cold out here to get these to be habitable. But in the future, humanity will have more technology to keep themselves alive. So that allows them to go to these planets. These lights look cool. Got a blue color. All right, that'll be it for Saturn and Saturn's moons. If we zoom out, you can see some more objects to look at. Um, let's go to Uranus. Uranus has got very good color. These are all pretty small moons. I wonder if these have city lights on them. No, they don't. Uh, let's see if any of these do. Some of these bigger moons. Oh yeah, this one does. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Just very faint. Um, so it looks like only a couple of these moons have been terraformed. But none of them can support life naturally. So there's those. Some of the cooler objects are some of these dwarf planets. Alright, let's check out Pluto. Pluto. Oh, it looks like Pluto hasn't been terraformed. 
I feel like it would be too cold out here anyway, and it would be so far for humanity to reach it that it just doesn't make sense for them to do it. But some other dwarf planets have been terraformed in this simulation, like Sedna. Take a look, it's really dark, but you can see the life likelihood's at zero point. 0115. It's weird there's no city lights. I'll just add some real quick. There we go. Alright, so I guess this is what the solar system is going to look like in a couple hundred years. Um, humanity has some big technological advancements to make until then. But the download link to see this simulation in your universe sandbox will be in the description. If you have any questions about it or just any questions in general about Universe Sandbox, I'd love to help answer them. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.